What is up guys, today we're going to be comparing the Samsung Galaxy A20 to the Bolt N1. Uh, so, uh, both these phones are in the price range of $200. You can pick this up for $200 and you can pick this up for almost about $200 on eBay. Uh, it will be coming to Amazon soon, I will update the links uh, when that happens. Uh, so let's go ahead and run down the hardware with these phones because it's very impressive what actually Bolt has done with a $200 smartphone. Uh, so as you can see, uh, it is a glass and metal design, dual camera setup on the back, flash, you have your power button, volume rockers, and then on the bottom you actually have a USB type C, a headphone jack, and one single firing speaker. On the front you have a full screen display with a pop-up uh, camera on here which looks very very nice. So with the Galaxy A20s, it does have a nice design, a triple camera setup, which I think looks a little bit more modern uh, than the Bold M1's dual camera setup. Uh, you have a fingerprint scanner, you have the volume rocker, and you have this really cool um, effect when you hit the light, which looks very cool as well. LED flash, power button, and then you have a water uh, drop notch display along with USB type C and the headphone jack and one single firing speaker at the bottom. Now let's talk about the specs of the display. So for the Galaxy A20s you have an IPS 6.5 inch uh, display. It is 720 by 1560 so a little bit better than 720p along with 264 for the PPI. Now with the Bold M1 you actually have an AMOLED display. It is a 6.4 inch uh, 1080 by 2340 with 403 for the PPI. So you have a much better display. You can almost tell instant instantaneously. So you have a much better display on the Bold. The blacks are deeper. You have a higher resolution so it just looks uh, sharper. Uh, now the display isn't bad on the Galaxy A20s. It is very nice but they opted out of the AMOLED display which gave you some really nice black colors. Uh, with this guy and I believe the A20 had an AMOLED display so they kind of downgraded it. Uh, it's debatable whether people prefer the water drop notch. A lot of people don't like the pop-up camera. They feel like it might malfunction uh, but when you're watching videos and stuff uh, you are going to prefer a full screen display over this water drop notch and the bold M1 has thinner bezels uh, than the Galaxy A20s as well. Now when you're watching videos, you will be able to watch videos in 1080p as opposed to the 720p on the Galaxy A20s. Uh, you do have a bigger display on here, but as you can see, you will prefer the display on the Bold M1. It just looks better, the AMOLED display, it's a higher resolution at 1080p. And it just looks overall better, a little bit sharper, a little bit more clear. Now let's go ahead and check out the speaker quality starting with the Galaxy A20s. So the Galaxy A20s is louder, uh, but I think the Bolt has a better sound quality, but it is louder because I can hear the 808s a little bit more on the Bolt M1. Uh, but this is the louder speaker, so you have to kind of make that choice. I think this does have a little bit uh, better uh, sound quality when it comes to like the kicks and the 808s and stuff. But let's keep running down some specs. Uh, so you have Android 9 on the Galaxy A20s, the Snapdragon 4. 50 processor along with the Adreno 506 graphics. You also have micro SD up to 1 terabyte, uh, 32 gigabytes of storage, and 3 gigabytes of um, RAM. Uh, so for the Bold M1, you have Android 9.0. You're supposed to get Android 10 in the future, hopefully. Helio P70 processor along with the uh, Mali G72 uh, GPU. Uh, you also have micro SD up to 128 gigabytes and 128 gigabytes of storage and 4 gigabytes of RAM. So you can expand with more storage on here, but you get 128 and you can't expand that. So, you know, technically you can get more storage on the Galaxy A20s. All right, so all applications have been cleared. Let's go ahead and get a speed test uh, going. So we're going to start off with YouTube. Three, two, one. So the bolding one, faster. Let's go ahead and try the Google Chrome. Three, two, one.
let's go ahead and try a game all right let's go ahead and try call of duty mobile three two one As you can see, more than one beat it by a good amount of time. So let's go ahead and talk about the camera. So you do have a 13 megapixel wide on the Galaxy A20s, an 8 megapixel ultra wide, and a 5 megapixel depth sensor. On the Bolder one, you have a 16 megapixel uh, camera, and you have a 5 megapixel depth sensor. No ultra wide, only bold M1. I went ahead and snapped a couple photos with both of uh, these stock cameras, and um. The Galaxy A20s kind of came out on top in some of these. Um, the Bolden one kind of struggles with camera quality. Uh, if you put Gcam on it, you know, it's a completely different camera. But to be fair, we're only going to use the stock camera. And as you can see, just get better uh, color accuracy, uh, better detail. It was able to focus. I got better focus with the Galaxy A20 as well. It's easier to focus up on images. Here again, another picture with the mic. Uh, the Galaxy A20s was able to get uh, the color accuracy right. Now they both look really good in detail, uh, but again, like I said, the color accuracy is way better on the Galaxy A20s. Now this photo right here, I don't know what happened with the Galaxy A20s. It completely just washed out, and as you can see, the mouse is actually black, and this one just washed it out and lightened it up. So the Bolden one took a really great photo uh, right here with this one. Now the front facing camera on the Galaxy A20s is actually actually pretty bad actually it, it just does not take a photo. This was with the uh, stock camera as well not the G cam and as you can see it's very grainy and the color is all off as you can see on the bold M1 the color accuracy is right and uh, I don't know what's going on with the front facing camera on here but it's really bad. And uh, you know that's really you know the bold M1 pretty much takes it. Just in case you've never seen it before here's the pop up camera on the bold. Uh, and one it pops up like that and you can also change the uh, sound effects and stuff like that so it's very very cool alright let's talk about getting into the phone uh, so you have the built-in fingerprint scanner only both in one which works if you do it right you know it works pretty much all the time uh, you cannot use the front facing camera uh, to use the face unlock on here which sucks and on the Galaxy A20s you have the back fingerprint scanner works great no problem and then you can also use the face unlock which works great as well so for the A20s you have a 4000 milliamp battery and fast charging at 15 watts and for the Bold M1 you have a 3500 milliamp battery uh, with uh, 18 watt fast charging with wireless charging as well so you do not have wireless charging on the A20s so this phone to be 200 bucks for wireless charging is pretty amazing uh, so for battery life you can get about a day of battery life with the Bold M1 and on the Galaxy A20s you can get about a day and a half uh, which is really nice so overall which phone would you guys pick for 200 bucks uh, be sure to let me know and I will catch you guys in the next video